Alright, today I want to make a brief tutorial on how to use the Minecraft Stronghold Finder uh, because people have been having some difficulty with it. So you're going to need some basic tools. Obviously you'll need Minecraft, uh, Stronghold Finder version 0 0.4 or higher, and in this case I use an NBT editor which is just basically going to allow me to change my position and save a lot of time. Uh, I strongly advise you use a map uh, texture pack like uh, this one. It's just transparent, lets you see through the world, and it'll help a great deal, see? Alright, so to get started, what we're going to do is make our new world, and we're going to name it Blah. Alright, we're going to set it to creative, and set the world seed to something exciting like 666, and create world. and you'll see it put us in the normal starting zone. I'm just going to exit out and change our texture pack back and open up the actual configuration file that stores my player's position. So, Alright, so now we go over here to our Minecraft uh, stronghold finder and we enter in the seed and it gives us three coordinates or three sets of coordinates, and we input those into the player position. Uh, there's a lot of other utilities that will also let you do the exact same thing. I strongly advise if you're in creative mode to set your uh, height to 120, just to make sure you don't spawn in any underground areas. And there we go. I'm just going to save this and pop right back into our world. Now, you'll notice that there is no visible stronghold, and a lot of people get confused about that. Strongholds, for the most part, are below ground. So, while you can't see anything here, if we go back out and switch to back to our transparent map pack, we can see this whole pink cave structure underneath. So we just dig straight down. you're going to hit the stronghold right away. Now sometimes it can put you between walls and that's just an advantage of using the transparent texture packs. You can actually see where you're going. But yeah, have fun and best of luck. And one last thing to cover, if it says invalid biome, that is just means that there's nothing there. Um, I can look into it further and see if I can figure anything out about it, but as far as I can tell it just doesn't generate anything there. And that's it. Thanks for watching.